tooth carving is the best method to understand tooth morphology. It forms the basis of introduction to tooth anatomy, morphology and occlusion of primary and permanent teeth through practical approach. Let's see how to carve maxillary right canine. First, we should draw midline on all the surfaces. Now, mark the portion for crown that is almost 10 mm. Now, mark the portion for the base. On the base part, mark lingual, buccal, distal and mucial. Divide the crown portion into three equal parts on buccal and lingual side. Using a divider, mark 5.5 mm on cervical portion. and 7.5 mm on incisal third. Draw the line like this to get a trapezoid. On lingual and buccal side. Now remove the excess wax to get a trapezoid. Then draw two lines from both sides towards midline. One is mesial line, the other distal line which is slightly longer than the mesial line. Now start reducing the wax in there. And on the opposite side as well. So now we got the marginal ridge where the distal is longer than the mesial. Reduce the wax like this. Then reduce the wax on the opposite side. Now make the cervical area prominent. Draw the ridge on the labial side and then reduce the wax from both the sides like this. In palatal area, we are reducing wax a little bit, so the crown appears convergent towards the palatal surface. Now, make palatal depression like this. Make it more prominent using the other side of the wax carver. The crown is completed now. Now using a cotton, polish the crown carefully. Now coming to the root part, reduce the wax around the root. Now start shaping the root, always the canine's crown and the root are little bit bulkier than compared to the incisor, so maintain the bulkiness.
Now draw the cervical line. Then start tapering the apical part of the root. Finally, give the developmental groove on the distal part of the root. And polish the tooth without a breaking. Thank you for watching. I will come up with another demonstration video.